Today I'll be teaching you on how to conduct a gas collection experiment using the downward displacement method. The apparatus that we will be using would be the conical flask, a delivery tube with stopper, a dropper, a measuring cylinder, a basin filled with water as well as a retort stand. So what I would be doing first is to fill up the measuring cylinder with water to the top. Then what I will do is to place a hand over the measuring cylinder, invert the measuring cylinder and put it into the basin of water. Make sure that the mouth of the measuring cylinder is fully immersed in the basin such that water will not flow out. Adjust the measuring cylinder such that you can see the markings so that you can take the readings of the measuring cylinder later and clamp the measuring cylinder tight. Okay, so after this is done, next what I'll do is to insert the delivery tube into the measuring cylinder. Make sure that the delivery tube is sufficiently inserted into the measuring cylinder such that it will not come out in the middle of your gas collection experiment. Okay, once this is done, what you will need to do next is to use the dropper and insert air bubbles into the measuring cylinder such that you can adjust the water level to a convenient reading before you start your experiment. So what you will do is to squeeze the dropper in the basin of water to introduce air bubbles. Okay, so once this is all done, you are ready to commence your experiments to collect the gas. For this experiment, we will be doing a gas collection for the experiment between hydrogen peroxide and manganese dioxide catalyst. Measure a suitable amount of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so now I'm about to add in the manganese dioxide catalyst into the hydrogen peroxide. Once this is added, you should quickly stopper the conical flask to prevent any loss of gas produced in the experiment such that your experimental results are as accurate as possible. So twice gently to ensure homogeneous mixing and you can see the gas bubbles being produced in the measuring cylinder. Mm -hmm. 